Robert Merton was an American sociologist born in 1910 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He taught at Harvard University until 1938 when he became professor and chairman of the Department of Sociology at Tulane University before joining Columbia University in 1941 when he eventually achieved the rank of university professor. He came up with the term self-fulfilling prophecy, which refers to when a person who's been labelled comes to fit the image people have of them. This term has since been used by other sociologists such as Howard Becker when discussing labelling theory. Writing from a functionalist perspective, Merton argued that deviance results from the culture and structure of society. He holds a standard functionalist position of value consensus, which means all members of society hold the same values. He suggested that there would be no crime or deviance if social order occurred when people in society follow the same norms and values. Social order is based on agreement around social goals and approved ways of achieving them. Most people share goals, for example financial success and having their own home, and most conform to approved ways of achieving them like working hard in paid employment. Merton argued that not all individuals have the same opportunities to achieve these goals in socially acceptable ways because of things like unemployment, racism and lack of educational success. Individuals then face a sense of stress when there's a mismatch between their goals and the means of achieving their goals. In this mismatch, a condition of anomy or normlessness develops. In other words, the norms that regulate behaviour break down and people turn to whatever means work for them to achieve material success. When anomy develops, anything goes and high rates of crime and delinquency develop. Merton observed American culture and said that this society bought into the American dream of having a successful career with lots of money, material possessions and a nice family. Merton said that in a balanced society, everyone will be happy. However, American society isn't balanced. So when people struggle to live up to society's norms and values, they try and find other ways of achieving this success and act normlessly in a deviant way. Merton called this a strain, and it is this normless behaviour which causes crime in society. It's like someone losing in a card game, and the expectation for them to win is so high that they break the rules in order to do so. He also believed that American society was unbalanced because greater importance was attached to success rather than to ways in which that success was achieved. In the search for success by almost any means, the danger is that the usual rules of governing behaviour in society are abandoned. A situation of anime occurs where anything goes in pursuit of wealth and material success. He described five possible ways in which individuals could respond to success goals in American society. Number one, conformity. This describes individuals who work towards achieving success by conventionally accepted means, for example, by gaining educational qualifications, which in turn give them access to secure, well-paid employment. Other conventional routes to success include talent, hard work and ambition. Number two, innovation. This describes individuals who are unable to succeed using conventionally accepted routes and turn to deviant means, usually crime. Merton believed that this route was most likely to be taken by individuals who came from the lower levels of society and who are denied the usual routes to success because they are less likely to gain the necessary educational qualifications. Number three, ritualism. This describes middle-class individuals who are deviant because they abandon conventional success goals. They're unable to innovate because they've been strongly socialised to conform, but they have little opportunity for advancement and remain stuck in low-paid, low-status jobs which are deemed respectable where they may exhibit an enthusiasm for rules and petty bureaucracy. Number four, retreatism. This describes individuals from any social class position who are deviant because they abandon both success goals and any means of achieving them. They drop out of society. This response can be applied to explain the behaviour of social outcasts of all kinds, including vagrants and drug addicts. Number five, rebellion. This describes those individuals who reject success goals and the usual means of achieving them but then replace those that they have rejected with different goals and means. 
They're deviant because they wish to create a new society. In Merton's view, they are typically members of a rising social class who may well attempt to organise a revolution. To summarise, Merton believed the pressure exerted on people to succeed, a strain, meant that if they didn't, they would act normlessly to cope, and this could manifest itself in those five ways. Merton has been criticised by some Marxists for not taking into account power relations in society and failing to consider who makes laws and who benefits from them. Merton's theory exaggerates working class crime and underestimates middle class white collar crimes. Many sociologists reject the idea that society is based on consensus or agreement about shared values and goals. They argue instead that society is based on conflict between powerful and subordinate groups. Albert Cohen also revealed that a lot of juvenile delinquency, such as gang violence and vandalism, isn't motivated by money or material things, and instead comes down to the delinquent wanting to simply gain the respect of their peers. Merton's also been criticised for his assumption that there's such a thing as value consensus in American society. It's been suggested that his deterministic view fails to adequately explain why only some individuals who experience anime become criminals while others conform. Examples of this are the anti-lockdown protests that took place all over the world during the coronavirus pandemic in 2020 and 2021. A lot of people in society conformed to the stay-home social distancing rules, but there were also a lot of people who rebelled against it. In 1994, Merton was awarded the National Medal of Science for his contributions to the field and for having founded the sociology of science. 